State Senator Louise Lucas is one of the people charged with felony conspiracy to commit a felony and damaging a monument. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Nicole Livis. And I'm Dana Smith. David and Janet have the night off. Allison Basil is live in Portsmouth. Allison, people from the NAACP, school board members, and public defenders are now charged. Yes, Dana, Portsmouth Police Chief Angela Green tells us there are several arrest warrants out for people involved with the vandalism of the Confederate monument on June 10th, and she asked that they turn themselves in immediately. Now, Green tells us they have conspiracy to commit a felony warrant for State Senator Louise Lucas and Portsmouth NAACP President James Boyd, NAACP Representatives Louie Gibbs and Lakeisha Hicks, and Portsmouth School Board member Lakeisha Atkinson, along with three others, Public Defender Brenda Spry, Public Defender Alexandra Stevens, Public Defender Meredith Kramer and three other people have warrants for monument damage. Now this all comes almost two months after Chris Green was injured the night of June 10th when protesters knocked down part of the monument onto his body. Protesters vandalized the monument throughout the day and night. Now Chief Green says as hundreds vandalized the monument, it was her decision for officers immediate focus to be on the preservation of life of citizens and officers. It is my hope that my community truly understands that at no point did any member of the Portsmouth Police Department condone the felonious acts that occurred on June 10th, which culminated in the life-altering injury of Mr. Chris Green. And Lucas's attorney delegate Don Scott tells us they were not aware of the charges. Lucas is currently in Richmond. He came here to speak with police, but told us no one would see him. Live in Portsmouth, Allison Basil, 13 News Now.